What is vibration? When elastic bodies such as spring, a beam or a shaft, are displaced from the equilibrium position by the application of external forces, they execute vibratory motion. When body particles are displaced by the application of external force, the internal force in the form of elastic energy are present in the body, tries to bring the body to its original position. Types of vibrations. There are three types of vibrations. Free or natural vibration. Forced vibration. Damped vibration. Free or natural vibration. This is defined as when no external force acts on the body, after giving it an initial displacement, then the body is said to be under free or natural vibration. The frequency of free or natural vibration is called free or natural frequency. It is observed that amplitude keeps on decreasing with respect to the time. Force vibration. When a body vibrates under the influence of external force, the body is said to be undergoing forced vibration. The external force is applied to the body as a periodic disturbing force created by unbalance. This has the same frequency as the applied force. Here it is observed that the amplitude remains constant with respect to the time. Damped vibration. When there is a reduction in amplitude over every cycle of vibration, the motion is said to be damped vibration. It is observed that the amplitude reduces abruptly with respect to the time. The free vibration is further classified into three types longitudinal, transverse, and torsional. Longitudinal vibrations. In this, the particles of the shaft or disc moves parallel to the axis of the shaft. In this case, the shaft is elongated and shortened alternately, thus executing the tensile and compressive stresses alternately on the shaft. Transverse vibration. In this, the particles of the shaft or disc moves perpendicular to the axis of the shaft. Here the sift is straightened and bent alternatively and hence bending stresses are induced in the shaft. Torsional vibrations. In this, the particles of the shaft or disc moves in a circle about axis of the shaft. Here the shaft is twisted and untwisted alternatively and hence torsional shear stress is induced in the shaft. If you are new to ADTW, consider subscribing this channel to get all the latest videos. If you find this video helpful click on the like button and comment your doubts or opinions in the comment section.